In fact, it's not even necessary for us to know what is in the world. Because for us, the last thing is to be so it's not obligated for us to know anything from the streets. Nothing which is of importance and value is in those books which are not mentioned. So if it is important for us, Allah mentioned That's the reason Allah mentioned several of the stories of David and Solomon. Not all the prophets of Jesus. Not all the prophets of Jesus. Not all the prophets of Jesus. Not all the the prophet and the messenger was to bring good tidings to the Quran. How you can obtain salvation. How you can obtain forgiveness to God. And you also came with a warning. Yes? To show the people the consequences of the land. When you meet up for a I don't need to put it on No, no, like I, like I told you, Chan, I told you earlier, for us it's not just the empirical evidence that's important. We believe in the testimony, and for us the testimony of the Prophet is one of the best. You know why? Because if what need did he have to preach the oneness of God when his community told him that if you stop preaching of the oneness of God, yes, we will give you the wealth that you need, we'll give you the women that you need, we'll give you status, we'll make you our ruler, we'll give you all this earthly goods that you need, all you have to do is stop believe or uh, propagating the oneness of God. What reason would the person who actually comes from a poor background? He wasn't very rich. Okay? He didn't even know how to read and write. What reason did he have to preach a Quran, which is one of the highest literary works in our okay? Yes, we believe, but not all the same. At least there's a when we read it, attributed and so, you got a point to make. I think you do. <laughs> you, I, 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 no, no, no. I, 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 I won't I, I, get offended. offended. We, we come I, to the speaker's I, corner. No, no, and no. There's no, nothing no. that we I, haven't I, been to. What is it? As long as you have a point to make, other than just offending for the sake of offending. No, I can't no, no. That's why we leave it now. No, no. What you need to do is when you actually look into the religion, okay, look into the faith. For example, I would say that why did Buddha leave his family? Is that just or unjust? He was married, right? To Yashoda, if I remember correctly. Now, this prince, he left his family behind. Does the husband have a right to his wife? Does he have any rights towards his wife? Like to clothe her, to feed her, to uh, provide shelter for her? In, his, in Islam, in Islam, we have this as a as a right of the husband towards his family. In fact, the, the wife can can seek divorce if he's unable to fulfill this main uh, 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 what do you say, main duty of his. So she provided. She provided. She was provided. No, but provided. By whom? By the king. What about his company? Does a wife not miss his miss her husband? Isn't that the right of the husband to fulfill the right of the wife? And by the way, it's not just material things the wife requires. There's emotions attached. Okay, there is company attached. You don't want to connect to what? He's already connected. As soon as you get married, you're connected to your wife. What do you mean? Not connected. He took he took an oath when he got married. But for you, no way. Are you married? Are you connected to your wife? Did you take an oath to protect her, to be with her? To... But if what happens when you break that oath? In in Buddhism, what happens? I'm asking you. In Buddhism, if you break that oath of being a husband and being responsible and your duties towards your life, what is it? 
Yeah, but I told you it's not just a material thing. But for you, yeah, it's like no side. But for us, we provide always everything we provide. What have you provided when you leave it? I can't provide financial everything. So you were not listening to what I said. I said the needs are not just material. But for you, yeah. For you as well. No. So you're saying your wife's needs are just material. That's it. Seriously? For us, yeah. For us, yeah. Yeah, for you. Does your wife have only material needs? There are no other needs? You can leave any time and you will not infringe our rights. Okay. So maybe in Buddhism the only need you have is material needs in a, in a marriage. In Islam we have a responsibility towards a wife, yes, not just material, but also the needs, for example, our emotions, yes, of our children. <laughs> what if she wants children and you have left the home? No. Well, where is she going to get children from? Okay. Did Buddha have children? What? Did Buddha have children? Yes. Yeah. What? Did Buddha have children? Yes. 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 Only one son. Yes. What if the wife wanted another? Yes. Maybe she wants a daughter. That's her faith. <laughs> Yeah. All, all I'm saying is that if you if you want to find mistakes, you'll find even amongst the Buddhists, okay, who are known to be quite what do you say non-violent, pacifist, okay, but we know what they did to the Buddhists, uh, the people, uh, the Rohingyas, the same Buddhists. So there are good and bad even amongst the Buddhists. Yeah, of course, every side. I can't be racist to one Muslim. I, I totally understand. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that when you when you are when you have someone like a, from what I understood from you is that the responsibility of your wife is not just sorry, it's it's just material it seems like. no. when you said you know when you because, said you can leave no, anytime that, okay, that was like a huge for us I don't think for me I took the wife's I, I thought he sneaked out in the night. Yeah, that, that did Buddha not sneak out in the yeah, night? He did, isn't it? Yeah, he didn't but, seek permission from his wife. No, because he did not want to set up the material needs. But that, 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 was it. that is not marriage, man. Just the material needs is not marriage. But, you know, then a rich woman doesn't need to even get married. Why is she to get married? She can just adopt children, she can just provide for herself. Why get married at all? Now. Do you agree with that? What? Yes. Do you agree with that lifestyle? If, if they want to, why not? Have they done anything more than that? Do you know anything about the sanctity of a marriage? For sex, what is a sex? I don't know. I'm telling you, when you when two people connect in a marriage, yes, then they share responsibilities. It's not like it's not like someone that you can just buy from the market. You have no responsibility, okay? But it's just some sort of a product, basically. It's like a commodity where you can buy and, dis uh, and just dis discard whenever you feel it. A father married, married to a pet, and the father left yeah, but that is that is called fornication. That's called adultery or fornication. This is something that is punishable by law in Islam. Do you know that? But the people divorced, divorced. We're not talking about divorce, we're talking about marriage. Let's start with marriage before you end in divorce. The reason divorces happen is because the, the two parties, one of them is irresponsible of the duties. Okay? And that is the only way you can have a valid divorce. But, but you're saying in Buddhism, you have a choice to leave your wife without even asking her. It's a responsibility. And what's the difference between... But after, after when you, you keep no. saying provided, provided, as if, as if she only has material needs. For us, what is that? You tell me. What else? What, what is the reason you marry in the first place, other than material needs? First, I, I, before yeah, I understand this, I married her yeah, to try to understand, 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 understand
I said that this world is heaven. It's not real. No, no, why do you marry? That's the question. Why do you marry at all? Once I understand. Well, what was that again? To look after each other. Yes. But once uh, I understand. But if a father or mother, uh, sorry, if a, if a family is already looking after her, why do you need to look after her? Jesus said, "Leave your mother and father and follow me." I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not I don't believe in the Bible. Okay, we don't believe. In not that Bible. part about leaving your family. Okay. But I, I, for us, for us looking after the family, it is a responsibility specifically of the father. You don't believe in the Bible. But our side is Why would you quote the Bible to a Muslim? No. I don't understand. No. I'm just saying, Especially the part that I don't I believe in. Yeah. But yeah, for us, yeah, we believe this side. You, you know, say you know, we are wrong. You know, Jesus also told one man, okay, whose, uh, I think his wife just passed away, or maybe his father, or someone, close family of his passed away. Yes? And he asked for Jesus' permission to go and bury the family member. Jesus refused to give him permission. He said, come and follow me. Do you, would you want to give the last rights to your family member? By what term? I'm going based on the Bible because you brought up the Bible. Would you want to give the last rights? Would you want to pay the last rights? What, is, how, what do you do when, when someone in your family dies? Do you burn it on a funeral pyre? Sure. You don't mind anything? Okay. But then, are there any rights? For us, body. Do you not have any last rights for the death? No. What kind of a Buddhist are you? I don't think you follow Buddhism because they definitely do have last rights. 